Question six, I've got three e to the x plus six e to the minus two x dx. I suppose a little bit early in that we haven't actually been taught how to do that till the next exercise, but I'm sure we can cope. Um, so e to the x integrates to give e to the x. So that's three e to the x there. And this one here, um, the e to the minus two x is going to stay the same. We're going to divide by the number of x's here then. So we've got a minus, and I say that's coming up in exercise 3b. We're going between two, so I've got 3e to the b minus 3e to the minus 2b. And sticking the 2 in, I've got 3e to the 2 minus 3e to the minus 4. And we've been told that that equals zero. Now I'm just staring at this going, this is a weird question. Um, clearly we'll divide everything by three. <laughs> and so we're going to get left with this. And now I'm just going to say B is equal to two because I want a two there and I want a minus four there. But why I'm puzzled because then that B is two is just sticking a two up there and are clearly of course the integral between two and two will be zero um so i'm going to stop there and if anyone's got any better ideas put it in the comments